Hey guys, good morning. I wanted you to take a look at these 10 numbers that I wrote on a piece of paper. I have a single digit number here, six. Then I moved to double digit numbers. I have 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. I'm gonna set a timer here for 30 seconds. I want you to look at those numbers and see if you can think of anything that you see as a pattern or that you see as a similarity between all 10 of those numbers. Something that's the same about those numbers or a pattern in some way. Okay, time's up. So let's start talking about what we might have seen. All right, so the things that I noticed, and I want you, I know that you guys noticed probably way different stuff than I did. So dojo me what you noticed, because you guys always notice the coolest stuff that I totally miss out on. But the things I noticed is I started with the tens place, and we know that if there's nothing in a tens place here, we could always add a zero. So that the tens place counted, because we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So I karate chopped that into a tens column and a ones column. I noticed the tens column counted 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. So not really a pattern because it's like there's 1, 0, 2, 1s, 1, 2, 2, 3s, 2, 4s, 1, 5, 1, 6. But I did notice that the numbers were going up as we moved down the numbers. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Then I moved over to the ones place and I saw, okay, well this ends in a six, then this ends in a two, eight, four, zero. So six, two, eight, four, zero. And then down here, six, two, eight, four, zero. So that pattern kind of repeated itself. Six, two, eight, four, zero, six, two, eight, four, zero. So I thought that was kind of cool, but I didn't really like, didn't really help me because it's not like the numbers went from smallest to largest. It's just kind of a random sequence of numbers. But when I started looking at the numbers, I said six two eight four zero. Huh? If I put those in order, zero two four six eight. Oh, those are numbers that we have when we count by twos, and I remembered that those are even numbers that if the ones place ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight, that they're even numbers. So all of the numbers in this sequence, right here again, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60 are even numbers. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I was like, you know what? I wonder, they're not counting by twos, to go from six to 12, I'm not adding two more, I'm adding six more. And then to go from 12 to 18, I'm adding six more. 18 to 24, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, oh, plus six. 24 to 30, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, oh, plus six. Now I'm starting to see a pattern too. To go to th from 30 to 36, I don't even have to count that one because I see that it just, the tens place stays the same and the ones place goes up by six. 36 to 42, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Oh, that counts up by six too. From 42 to 48, the tens place stays the same. To go from two to eight, I'm adding six. 48 to 54, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Oh, counting up by six. I wonder then, plus six, 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 plus six. Hmm, to go from 54 to 60. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Oh, so I'm counting up by six. All right, well, hmm, let's see what we can do with that. So let's take a look. We've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. And we had talked before how we're counting by sixes. So if we count one six, we get six. Six times one equals six. So then two groups of six, six times two equals 12. 
two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five plus five is 10. Count this extra little one down here. Five plus five is 10. 11, 12. Oh, okay. So then this must be six times three. One, two, three, because I've counted by six three times. Six, 12, 18. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take a look at this, let's count our fives first. Five, 10, 15. Then we'll go back and count our ones. 16, 17, 18. Oh, I see. So six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. So if we continue the same pattern, this would be six times four equals 24. Six times five equals 30. We could do that with an array to show. We could do six rows. One, two, three, four. Oh, I gotta add some more down here. I'm running out of room. So I have six rows. I'll go back and tap those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do five columns. We have five columns now. And let's count up how many we have and see if that equals 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so we showed an array here with rows and columns, which we talked about last week. We <clears throat> did groups here to show we did three groups of six. That was a, a way that we talked about reviewing multiplication. So these are all different ways. Another way is just to memorize and just know that when you're counting by six, just like you memorize counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. If you memorize counting by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, it will be a lot easier to just know those, but it takes a lot of work. It's not gonna just come like, I'm gonna practice today and I'm gonna know it. You probably have to take a little while to do that, but it is good It is good to know how to count by twos, by threes, by fours, by fives, by sixes, and all the way up. It's very helpful. So, so let's take a look. Right here we have six times six. Now, if I know how to count by sixes, I could say that six, I'm counting by sixes, and I, if it's six times six, I need to count by sixes six times. So we go back here and we say six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. That's if you know how to count by sixes. Not all of us do yet. So what we're gonna do here for six times six is we're gonna draw six groups, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna draw six items in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That's a lot of work. That's why it's important to learn how to memorize our facts by sixes. We're gonna count our fives first. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now go back and count our ones. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Six times six is 36. Okay. So tonight for, for, or today for classwork, you have two jobs. Job number one is here I have all of our numbers when we're counting by six. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write those in a line, in a list going down. Make sure you line up the tens and the ones. And I want you to hang it somewhere where you see it every day, whether that's on your refrigerator, whether that's on your bathroom mirror, whether that's on your dresser in your room or on a wall somewhere. And every time you walk by it, I want you to stop, 
and just look at it for a minute and say 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. And just keep practicing because if we practice, 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 we'll remember our sixes. And one more thing, you have two times six problems that I want you to do on a piece of paper. Send me a picture of them. You've got two problems, six times four equals whatever it equals, and six times seven. You can do those by drawing your groups. You can draw six groups, two, three, four, five, six, and put four in each group. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Or you could draw four groups because we can, you know, we can flip flop multiplication and put it any order we want and do six items in each group. Whatever is easiest for you. But I want you to tell me what your answer is for six times four and six times seven. So I want you to take a picture of your work here, send it to me, and then I also want you to take a picture of the list of counting by sixes you made and where you have it hanging up in the house, and I'll give you your homework point. Be awesome, as always. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Oh, hey guys. I was just finishing brushing my teeth, and the whole time I was brushing my teeth, this is what I mean about writing my list. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Every time I brush my teeth, I was saying those numbers. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. I'm going to do that every morning and every night for the next week so I can start to learn to count by sixes. You guys try it. Hang this somewhere in your house where you're going to see it every day, okay? Be awesome.